how do you miss that? And, and, and we know that there are many Madoffs out there. They're starting to surface. You, you missed all of those, too. We're bringing but this one, this one you were pointed at. And, and, and Mr. Marco Polo says he's going to give you another one tomorrow. He's not even giving it to you. He's giving it out to someone else because nobody has confidence in you guys anymore. Maybe, maybe the general counsel, Mr. Vollmer, uh, I believe you were the one who thought that your people didn't have to testify here today. I, I don't know how, where you got that, but some of us think otherwise. Maybe, maybe you could tell us. How, how did they miss all this? We're as committed as each of you. That's not the question. Perhaps we give you credit for being committed. Perhaps you could let me answer. Perhaps you can try to answer. And what, we, what we're asking No, is, no, we're asking. You have to tell us things. You're, you're forgetting what, the, what this procedure is. You're not coming here to let, ask. We're asking you. How did you screw up? General's process work. It's a process Congress set up to identify the facts that we all need to make these judgments. Let's let the system work that Congress created. There will be some recommendations. There will be time for this committee to look at the facts and to think of the recommendations themselves. Tell that and to people who've the lost their whole lives that they have time. In this people don't have now, time. We need you to tell us something instead of lecturing us, Mr. Vollmer. Law enforcement proceedings going on. There are personal rights at stake. There are the in, there's the integrity of the investigation. We wouldn't be in this protect. mess if you people did and your that's job. That's why we've asked the committee. To no, we're asking bear with you. We are asking you to allow them to proceed. Could you cite whatever authority you're you're citing and have cited? I, I'd be delighted. I'd be happy to do that. I'd be happy to talk. Because you have a right your, not to answer our questions under the Constitution's Fifth Amendment procedure. I'm not a lawyer. I'm, I'm a happy citizen, to though. Talk to your lawyers I'm a frustrated about citizen. Happy to give the, the references to you or to your lawyer. I'm listening. Give us the references. Uh, there's um, a very important uh, opinion from uh, Attorney General Robert Jackson in 1941, where he explained the need to discharge the constitutional and statutory obligations of the executive branch in connection with law enforcement and civil litigation. Are you citing executive branch immunity, Mr. Vollmer? In response to requests for information from the Congress. Are and you citing executive branch immunity, Mr. Vollmer? There's, there are various protections. Are you citing executive branch privilege, Mr. Vollmer? Uh, I would like to let you allow me to answer your question. Well, that's a yes or no question. It's a yes or no question, sir. Either you are no. or you are not. No, it's not. There are a variety of reasons and privileges and protections. They, one of them is executive branch protections. There's a deliberative process protection. They stem from the same desires that you have. And we're asking that you allow those processes to work. We are out of patience. And the question, obviously, is a yes or no question. Either you're citing executive privilege, immunity, or you're not doing that. I've just explained there are You know, if you're citing your Fifth Amendment privilege, you don't make a speech. And that's one of them, was the executive you are, privilege. Was that a yes, you're citing executive privilege in immunity? in part, it is, yes. I'm sorry? I said, yes, it is in part. Has, have you inquired of the Justice Department or someone else that they have analyzed that position for this hearing today? And they've found that the Securities Exchange Commission requested by Congress to discuss a very important pending piece of legislation that's being established to protect hundreds of thousands, perhaps millions of people, that you have a right representing the executive branch, the President of the United States, to stand on that authority? Have you, have you posed that question to the Attorney General or? No. Then this is on your interpretation? This is the position of the agency. And, and you're the general counsel for the agency. I assume you make the legal determinations for the agency. Uh, no, the commission makes the decisions for the agency. So, so this question has been passed through. from a variety of sources, and so, the general counsel's office is so, one of So those this sources. has been passed through the new director or, or chairman of the commission and the, the members of the commission, the and they agree and have instructed you to instruct this panel 
not to respond to the questions of Congress because of executive privilege and may, maybe other privileges contained in the 1941 Supreme Court case. Is that correct? That the Commission supports this position. That wasn't the Chairman's question. Yeah, I, the answer I th to that specific question is no. The, the answer is no. So you're acting on your own volition? No. I didn't say that, no, and I would disagree with that. You know, most of us speak English, and we're having a hard time getting an answer from you. This is not the, this, this was not discussed by the Commission, but it's the Commission's position. Is that what you just said? Do you, do you divine that? Uh, the Commission's approved taking this position. The Commission has voted the position that you will cite executive privilege in not no. testifying before this committee I, and answering I, its I, questions. I couldn't say that to you honestly because the specific reasons Obviously. weren't discussed and given by the Commission, but the basis is that we've were seeking your value to us is an useless. accommodation, and we've your tried value to, seek to the American people is worthless. You, and your contribution to this proceeding you is take zero. Into account the concerns that have been well settled over many years, and we'd ask you to take those into account. Our economy is in crisis, Mr. Vollmer. We thought the enemy was Mr. Madoff. I think it's you. You were the shield. You were the protector. And you come here and fumble through make-believe answers that you, that, you, that you concoct and attribute it to executive privilege that you've not consulted with the executive branch on. Mr. Chairman.